Hey, Joy Jeannie here. I just heard the most interesting and exciting news as far as I was concerned when it relates to paying for the additional services and support that are necessary for those of us that are neurodiverse, dyslexia, ADHD in particular. And what I was been learning about recently is the fact that flexible spending accounts, FSAs, and health savings accounts and possibly health reimbursement arrangements are now starting to cover those types of services. It's not um, the simplest, easiest thing to make happen. You do need to get an L-O-M-N or an L-M-N filled out that will be submitted. But it's really amazing. That allows you to set aside funds, pre-tax dollars, so that could be upwards of a savings of 30% of your funds. Um, setting that aside and then being able to use those dollars towards coaching services, tutoring services, those types of necessary things. So this is super exciting. Let me show you a little bit of what I've learned. So before we get too excited, let's remind ourselves that we're going to have to jump through some hoops. That L-O-M-N or that L-M-N letter of medical necessity is going to kind of be one of your first key items that needs to be addressed. Another item I found was here talking about ADHD and an FSA health uh, flexible spending account and notice it says treatment strategies so that's where coaching would possibly fall under and also tutoring for those of you with dyslexia I also found this great spot explaining a little bit more about dyslexia treatment reimbursement so you have to admit that is pretty cool so check it out yourself, and if you've had some experience with it, hey, please pass it along and share it with others. Thanks now. Have a great day.